Fire. Oh my god. <laughs> what do you mean? Stop it! Sap naked. You're the one that I should be covering the eyes on. <laughs> Hey guys, we were recommended this game, Eternal Hour, Golden Hour. So we're gonna take a look at it and see what it has to offer. I guess it's a story game. About a lot of naked women and, and a guy with see. very small swim trunks. <laughs> All right, I guess there's two different, two different games or two different stories. In one. That noise sounded like uh, from one of the Sabrina the Teenage Witch games. It does. Eleven years before the events of Eternal Hour. Alright. Oh, are we supposed to click? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, I've never really played story it's games. Good sign, she's wearing clothes. The day I first came into the city of Kumaiwara feels like only yesterday. Six years have passed in the blink of an eye. While it was never big as Osaka, Fukuyaka, <laughs> or Sapporo, Sapporo, that's a beer action. Yeah, it's still know. much bigger than that, than my hometown of Tokyo. 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 I'm gonna say Tokyo a lot. And I went to Kumiwara to find a place where I could be accepted. Tokyo's too small and conservative. They've never, they'll never approve of someone like me. She's a biker chick. When I return, the first thing they'll ask is why I'm not married yet. Sounds like our parents. <laughs> or maybe why I dress like a punk. Sounds like you. You dress like a punk. You dress like a punk. You're a punk. You're wearing. If I tell them I have a law degree now, they'll probably die of shock. Still, I can't hold this off any longer. You gotta be dramatic with it. Do you hear the music? I tried. I hope that maybe someone would take my place or tell me that it was all a joke. But this is real. And it has been to me. It has to be me. I've been called a lot of things in my life. Some were true, some were false, but responsible. The idea never crossed my mind. Akio Natsumi. I still can't believe you're gone. The world can't be, can be too cruel, too Just, just cruel. keep going, fall with it. I hope I can give something back to you for all the times you supported me. Perhaps then I'll prove myself worthy of inheriting your legacy. Two lives have ended, and now another is about to change forever. Oh. This is deep. She started her motorcycle. Took off. No. Well, here I am, my new home. Looks like Akio and Natsumi took good care of this place. Not bad for people in the education sector. Dot dot dot. They were on their way home the night they died. It wasn't even 20 minutes from here. One left turn and it was a straight shot home at small town speed limits. But instead of reaching their destination, a speeding truck forced them to swerve out of their way. So sad. Their car ran off the road, crashing into a rock and catching fire. Jeez. The two of them were trapped inside the wreckage, burning for hours before anyone could get to them. Yeah. How could you burn for two hours? Uh, I think you would have died, like, <laughs> yeah. right away. If it hadn't been for the license plate, their bodies may have never been identified. Drivers like that one that caused the crash are not why I got into criminal defense. Like this is a very personal game about who would ever made it. It's like a story though. Yeah, they're trying to tell their life story. I can't think about that now. I need to focus. Poor Yasu's been on his own for three weeks. He's a newly orphaned child still in grade school. He must be suffering. I can leave unpacking for later. 
I should go see him first. I wish I had gotten a job before moving in, though. Luckily, when I sign the papers, I can use the inheritance money to help us cope for a while. God, I still can't believe I'm thinking about such morbid things again so soon. Okay, Rin. You have to get to Yasu. Hopefully everything else will fall into place after that. Alright, so apparently our name is Rin. Mm -hmm. So this is a Starlight Orphanage. Huh, it's pretty close to home. I forgot Toka, Tokyo still has ancient structures like this. The city has a big revitalization project in the 80s. I guess a few old structures survived. The orphanage owners must have bought it on the cheap. They probably even made it a landmark. I shouldn't waste time outside. My anxiety won't just magically disappear. Hello there. <laughs> what the heck? No, I don't have 20 hours or 15 minutes. <laughs> this must be someone who works here. I should ask about Yasu. She's what is she doing with the kids? Young looking face. I suppose that's better than a cranky old hag. Welcome to Starlight Orphanage. Okay, thank you. Why she blushing so much? I think she likes you. I'm making Oh my god, she's posing? She volunteer. I think she should be investigated. <laughs> Seriously. She's doing something with these children. That was perverted, huh? Did you just finish high school? Well, that's you that sounded like a totally different voice <laughs> yeah. than the first one. First person quit early. Yep. They figured I'd be good at helping coordinate the other young volunteers. Sounds like a computer generated voice. Of course, nothing motivates volunteers like a cute girl's graduate. Gratitude. Oh, gratitude. Ooh. What can I do for you? Uh, I'm weird. Rin Fujimoto. I, I'm here to pick up my nephew, Yasu Fujimoto. Oh. Oh. I see. Is something wrong? Someone else can't have already picked him up, right? My cousin, Mitsuku, said that she couldn't leave her home country for another two months. She a well, prisoner of war? What? Is there a problem? I was told to come, so here I am. And it's weird how they, like, they have the voice for some of the parts, yeah. and then not the others. I even faxed the paperwork in advance. That was over a week ago. Whoa. Snappy. She got crazy real yeah. quick. She's like a tigress all of a sudden. <laughs> That's kind of what I said. Yeah. <laughs> Yasu has been with us for weeks. Weeks. Where have you been? She's very possessive. I've been busy. Busy? I'm sorry. Why does she keep posing like this? <laughs> Busy? <She's> like, huh? <laughs> how could you? Busy? <laughs> While you were busy, your nephew had to rely on strangers to cope with his loss. Oh, I'm sorry. Jeez. Uh, sorry, I thought someone else might step up. Sorry. God, we're never having I kids. I thought someone else <laughs> might step up. <laughs> what? What's wrong? I didn't expect you to just admit that. <laughs> Maybe that was the right thing to say. <laughs> Given your appearance, I thought you'd be a bit more rebellious. I uh, thought you'd be a little better clothes. <laughs> Look, I know I screwed up, and I can't change that. But Yasu needs a guardian, and that duty is mine now. Well, that's refreshing. Thank you for coming then. Shall I go get Yasu? Well, he is the reason I'm here. Good point. Excuse me then. It'll just be a minute. She's really creepy. She has to go get him dressed. <laughs> no, I don't know what you... Well, that was surprising. With those cute glasses and that sweet voice, the kids at the orf orphanage might must love her. I think you love her. What? Well, your character. I know, it sounds weird. I wasn't expecting the chief volunteer at an orphanage to be so fiery, though. 
I probably could have handled the situation better, but my head still feels heavy from all the dark thoughts I've been having lately. Yasu, oh, she's back. come say hello to your aunt Rin. Still blushing. Oh, he look, looks. Look at his eye line. Strain. <laughs> he hasn't seen her face ever in his life. <laughs> he kind of looks scared, doesn't he? Yeah, uh, thinking about the things that have been done to him. I scarcely recognize the boy Megumi pull, brings out. Yasu has grown so much. But now his hands are shaking and there are dark circles under his eyes, showing a lack of sleep. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. I know what that means. I've made him wait here for so long, unsure of his future. I'm his guardian now, but I'm practically a complete stranger. It will probably take a long time for him to recover and get accustomed to living with me. Yasu? Say something. Um? I'm sorry. He's a bit shy. You are a weirdo. <laughs> what the heck was she posing again? As Magumi apologizes, I'm just standing there, dumbfounded. Just what can I say to comfort this scared child? I'm not a mother, nor do I have much experience with children. Legal professions don't usually involve caring for minors, after all. I guess I should just act friendly and smile. Yeah, that's what his Hello, orphanage Yasu. lady did. I'm going to take you home, okay? That's probably what she said. Mm. Okay. Why don't you go pack up your things and say goodbye to the other kids? He's pretty quiet. Aren't kids supposed to be more talkative? His parents just died in a car crash that was burning for He's hours. He's shy red adults. I'm sure that he'll get better after he spends some time with you. I understand. I don't like this lady at I all. I can't imagine when he I think I'll go help him pack. But, um, Miss Fujimoto? Rin. Name is better. Okay then. Rin? Well, I. If you need any help with anything, oh. I'd be happy to help. Oh. She's. She's making a. My move. She's a weirdo. Mm -hmm. Well, that's reassuring. I was worried she would still resent me, but I guess she just wants the best for Yasu. Sure. That sounds great, Megumi. Here, I'll give you my business card. You can find my email and cell number here. Oh, uh -oh. a cell phone. Oh. I must confess, I haven't gotten myself one yet. Oh my god. When was this game made? <laughs> I don't know. I see toddlers walking around with cell phones bigger than they are. Oh uh, yeah, right? If it were even five years ago, I could understand that. Now you're a bit too late to the party. Well, if you help me out when I need it, maybe I can introduce you to cell phones sometime. Whoa! How are you going to introduce her to... I don't know. What do you mean, help me out when I need it? <laughs> I don't know. That sounds like fun. I may just take you oh, up on that. I think this is a... Huh. This is a lesbian simulator. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> With children in the middle of it. This and, is getting creepy. And, yeah. I mean... I'm starting to have thoughts about our audience. Phones. I never got one for myself. I don't know if she's trying to get me to buy her one or what. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I think you're about to be a sugar mom. <laughs> oh, are you having trouble, Yasu? Here. Oh, that's how it started. There she goes. I should give this girl a call later. Maybe we can be friends? If nothing else, it's better than being a loner punk with a kid to raise. Hmm. I hope Yasu doesn't mind riding a motorcycle. Parenthood. I never thought I'd get to it this soon, or at all. But I suddenly became the guardian of a seven-year-old boy. Yasu is awfully quiet. I'm not sure how to even approach him at this point. He might hate me for trying to replace his parents. He might not even understand what happened to his parents or why. But I'll do my best to give him a good life and education. I just hope he doesn't end up a punk like me. Then why do you get punk? You're a punk. I mean, if okay, you don't want to be a punk, don't be a punk. I keep telling that to you. No. Punk? I'm not a punk. You're a punk. You are. 
Okay, Yasu, ready. have a good day at school. Alright. Okay. It's been a few days now and I still haven't gotten him to really talk to me. I've had better conversations with plants than with kids. Speaking of plants, I may have to give that one away. Worrying about plants is just adding to stress right now. To be honest, I want to change more than that around here. But I can't do anything drastic, not until Yasu tells me what's on his mind. Of course, none of that really matters if I don't find a job soon. Oh, oh Ding dong. Here. I know who it is. Good morning, oh, Ren. Mind yep. I come in? Yes, I mind. Excuse oh, me. Megumi. Um, yes, please, come in. I figured, since it's been about a week, I should come to see how you're doing. Has Yasu left for school already? That pose kills me. Oh, see, she's asking if the kid's gone. Yes. He left with this cute girl. Ah, what well, was that? Naoko? Yes, that's her. Naoko tagged along with Yasu and they left for school together. Apparently, they're friends with some other kids. Daisuke and Katashi, probably. Oh, gosh. These names. Mm -hmm. Daosuke? They, she the just said it. Visited Yasu a lot at the I know. I'm going to have to read it. I'm glad he's got some friends with him. I walked him to school the first couple of days, but... Is something wrong? Mm -hmm. The kid just needs to open up. It's pretty hard to take care of him this way. She's about to go off well, on me. Have you tried <laughs> asking him freak about out his again? interests? Or helping him with schoolwork? He is pretty quiet. So you should make an effort to understand him. If you want him to be open with you. I don't have a lot of time for that now. I need to get a job, or we'll both be out on the street. Well, he is a smart kid. And he probably understands that. But make sure to keep an eye on him. He is still grieving, after all. Poor Yasu. He might be having a hard time understanding that his parents aren't coming back. I can understand that. I still can't believe they're gone either. I the keep waking up on? at night, expecting another email to show up from Akio. He would always complain about the problematic children at school, and how they would always find new solutions to their everyday They were both teachers, right? Yes. Very good ones. They always told me how they couldn't wait until Yasu was old enough to be one of their students. It's definitely a deep story. To make you remember all of that. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna cry or laugh at the end. <laughs> So why are you being so short with her? <laughs> I don't want her to get out of here. <laughs> She's just trying to she help. She shut up without, you know, even calling. She doesn't have a cell phone. She just okay. knocked on my door. She rang the doorbell. So, how about we go out for a while? Oh, God. Mm -hmm. How do I say no? You don't Wait. know. <laughs> well... It's been a week, but you look like you've been spending a lot of time inside. And she should be taking, taking care, care of the Yasu. kids right now. She's no. trying to take care of you. It would be good to get some fresh air and explore the town. Well, I mean... By town, she means your pants. I have spent a lot of time Ew. inside since I arrived, but I look used that to face. live here six years ago. Really? Have you not visited Tokyo since then? Not really. I always met a key All right, where are we going? We used to spend a few days yep. there having fun. Like so yes. I haven't seen Tokyo since yep. I left. Just as I suspected. That won't do. Come on. Hey, wait, what? You promised to help oh, me buy she's a doing cell phone, the right? Oh, see? She's asking for the cell phone again. I knew it. Trying Let's relax for a while and go shopping. Mm-hmm. Sugar Mama Whoa. Bondi. Jeez, she's insistent. She barely gave me a time to grab my bag and now she's pushing me out the door. Soon she'll be pushing you in the door. <laughs> she is right though. It would help me to get out for a while. Well, now that Yasu is at school, we can explore the sh streets of Toka. Tokyo. Tokyo? Megumi excitedly pulls my hand and guides me through a few streets I used to know well. Some of them just look like they did back then, but most have changed completely. 
Gone is the tiny cafe I used to frequent as a child, replaced now by a large restaurant. The bookstore where I used to buy manga is still here. But I can barely recognize it now. You know what? You're going to take a turn at this. Mm -hmm. You're just reading next. With a slew of new displays showcasing portable music players and headphones, the storefront is, seems to have traveled 20 years into the future. The air is cool and refreshing as we walk together through the shopping district. I see Megumi smiling besides me as she watches my mixed reactions to these streets that are both nostalgic and unfamiliar. So, okay, you've proven your point. I feel like I'm lost in a new world. I knew it. You Get should have asked read. me to show you around much earlier. Mm -hmm. yeah. Did you see mm -hmm. anywhere you wanted to go? I'll tell Um. What's that place with the dragon logo? That's the Okopoko Cafe. Oh. oh it's so a new cafe opened dragon? by some Canadian <laughs> folks. They serve North American dishes along with traditional ones. Oh, they serve American food there. <laughs> yeah, usually the Golden Dragon is a restaurant I here. I love their bannock. The Golden sure Dragon's a restaurant Chinese. everywhere. <laughs> I bet you if you guys Google right now on your big. phone, there's a golden dragon somewhere by you. Yeah. Yeah, it's everywhere. It's a kind of flatbread, but they make theirs with raisins and a honey glaze. It tastes like rainbows and butterflies. I don't know if butterflies, butterflies sound like they taste good. It's like they're kind of crunchy. <laughs> I wouldn't eat it. It's your turn. It looks like Megumi loves talking about food. Whoa. You have to do it with more feeling. To where it used to be. More, you know, enthusiasm. You were like, me, 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 me. No, me. mine was good. Are they still selling melon pan? Oh, What's yes. melon pan? Oh, their chocolate chip melon pan is the best. And their muffins. Oh. I know pan is bread in Spanish, but... I have to say, they seem to have quite an acquired taste for local delicacies. Of course. You need food to live. Plus, they make really tasty treats all over Tokyo. So can you walk around in this game, or...? I think this what is the game. You, you don't indulge in eating sweets huh. sometimes? It's like a visual story. D uh, what do you want? What's your decision? Do you like sweets? Yeah, every once in a while. I like something sweet once in a while. Whoa! We should have lunch together sometime. Oh, didn't think I was gonna leave that. You just got me deeper in the hole with this lady. I'll show you all the best food around here, and you can tell me all about the tastiest treats from Kumiara. I don't know why she's supposed to like that. Like, that would be a really awkward conversation. <laughs> yeah, I'd be like, I'm like, are you checking your deodorant? Like, is she like airing her armpits out? Yeah. <laughs> wow. Magumi seems wow. much friendlier than before. I feel sorry for being so guarded with her before. When she's not mad at you, she's quite nice. It feels refreshing to see her smile and dawdle all her dawdle around as we travel through the snug streets of Tokyo. So many new places have opened up in the few years I've been away. Hey, Magumi. That's it. No. That's all I got. No, you gotta. I was reading uh, that whole. This is a girl voice. You're a girl, so you should be reading it. The shop with the mannequins in the window. She's a manly that girl. That seems like a new shop. No. You'll you do, do fine. You have a history of. You'll do fine. Saying certain women sound like men. Mm -hmm. What does that have to do with anything? Well, go ahead. You're still reading. I'm not reading this. She already read that. Ah, yes. The owners thought it was time to bring more cute fashion to Tokyo. Unfortunately, some people are complaining about it. Complaining? About what? Some of the older and more established citizens feel that mannequins in shop windows are obscene. She's more obscene than the mannequins are. <laughs> Look at those mannequins are perfectly dressed. Yeah. It has a sun hat, a t-shirt, and a dress. What? That goes down to her ankles. Yeah. The people here can be pretty stubborn. The city might force a shop to move the display away from the windows. Proud to be an American, or at least I hey, know you're I'm to be free. Singing. I mean, 
You read. Reading. I told you I don't read. Well. Nope. It's your turn. End of the video, guys. It's your turn. Mm -hmm. Are you embarrassed? I don't want to read. Okay, embarrassed. <laughs> I've got no problem with conservative people in general. <laughs> but this is exactly the kind of thinking that drove me away from this town in the first place. Red, are you sorry? Oh, sorry. I got lost in my thoughts for a second there. That's odd. You're sure you're okay? Yes. Absolutely. I don't want to see these two people talking in the street, like on the sidewalk. And listening to their conversation? No, you just like catch three seconds of it, but that you guys are weird. Great. To start, how much do you know about cell phones? Not much. Oh, I, like this I just content. know that it's a phone you can carry around with you. There's a lot more to them, actually. I mean, maybe people enjoy. I'll explain when we find some place to buy one. Yeah, I mean, I can see like what the generic appeal would be, but. This story doesn't seem to be going anywhere. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Maybe it's. I, I feel like people are just like clicking on you. Where's those bikini pictures? <laughs> we continued talking about phones for a good while before we eventually found a place that sells them. It's really fun helping her pick out the right one and showing her how it works. I have never seen someone get so excited over buying a phone before. Megumi looks so thrilled that we can send messages to each other from time to time. We exchange phone numbers and spend the rest of the day together exploring the city, looking for something, but not knowing what. Hmm. I have so much fun, I even managed to forget about all my troubles for the first time in weeks. Megumi and I, we've become great friends in no time at all. So the dot 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 was like, was she lied? She's gonna say something else? And she took it back? What is this? Flashbacks? Yeah. Yeah, from 30 seconds ago. <laughs> After that day, time seems to pass faster than before. I've been making small bits of progress every day, but life still hasn't settled down quite yet. It's been over a month since I moved back to Tokyo. Everything feels better now. I've started remembering the fun times I once had here, and sometimes tell Yasu stories about those. Yasu started speaking more and more, and now we're slowly becoming a family. We even watched a TV show together last night. If I remember correctly, it was a cute anime about a boy who turns into a frog. I can't help but empathize with that boy, and I really wish I could do more to be a better guardian. What? Why does watching a show about having a boy turn into a frog make you feel like a bad parent? Seems really depressed. <laughs> Going from defending people in court to being a single mother all while looking cool on my motorcycle. <laughs> Doesn't matter how I say it, it still feels funny to think that some kid depends on me. It seems it can happen even to someone like me who's never even had a boyfriend. Told you. Hmm. She could be playing for both teams right now, you don't know. Because she doesn't know. <sighs> It's pretty sad that I look like a freeloader with no job, no income, nothing. The money will eventually run out and I have to take care of Yasu somehow. I don't even know if I can practice law in a backyard town, backward, backward town like this. Even with the hardships, Megumi has been a lifesaver. We meet nearly every day now. Sometimes I wonder what my real feelings are, especially when it comes to Megumi. <laughs> I called it. I'm so good. I meet up with Megumi at the orphanage and we talk. We walk to a nice spot she knows by a lake for a picnic lunch. Even with my life being so close to falling apart, the good weather and the de delicious meal with a good friend have done wonders for my mood. It's days like this that I live for now, when I, just, when I can just forget the rest of the world and enjoy the moment. Ever since, little Hikaru's been showing up to play with the orphans. Wow. She's a great kid. Yep. She just has to do it. Dot, dot, dot. So, Rin. Oh, here it goes. 
Here it goes. That's odd. It's rare that I notice Megumi hesitating. What is it, Megumi? Well, I hate to ask, but how goes the job hunt? She's about to try mind. and bribe you. <laughs> She's yes. asking about my job. Going, you know. There's only one proper law firm in town. That's true. If they don't hire you, it's essentially just a few who have one-person firms. They won't hire exactly. you if it's a one-person firm. <laughs> Tokyo's not the most progressive of towns, either. You don't think anyone here is interested in a leather-clad motorcycling defense attorney? I did apply, but I haven't heard back since. Of course, there's also the whole thing, not married thing. This town has female lawyers, but they have families. I hate to even suggest it, but do you think you might need to change your image? What would you do? I would put there has to be another way, but... There has to be another way. Letting this old stubborn town force me to change just feels wrong. Wrong. Totally wrong. Can't believe it. I agree. Just hold out forever. You need a steady income to support Yasu and yourself. I know. It's just that I've grown into who I am. It's not like I can just throw everything away in an instant. It's just a I've person that rides a motorcycle. Before. I feel like there might still be an option, Gumi. I mean, she could wear a business suit in the daytime. Yeah, and like any other out, responsible adult. <laughs> and when she goes out at night, we don't all walk get into around. her biker suit. Yeah, but it's not like we don't go to jobs and wear what we wear at home. It, right. But that may not be realistic. You're risking Yasu's she, life. She's, she's, she's just getting life. possessive of you. <laughs> I really admire your determination. But I'm worried. I should have just said I'll change. Both of you. Thanks, Megumi. Instead of listening to her nice. speech I'm about... probably just trying to hold out as long as I can. <sighs> now might be a good time to ask. Hey, Megumi. I wanted to ask you. Why do you work at the orphanage? I don't think you ever told me. Oh my goodness, <laughs> you're right. Great She's too. a pervert. Well, the simplest answer is that I'm somewhat of an orphan myself, so I know how they feel. Hurt people hurt people. I'm so sorry, Megumi. It's fine. It was a long time ago. The past doesn't have to define us. But you said that your past is the reason you work at the orphanage. Oh, well, that. On the side here. Well, it's why I started mm. doing it. But now, well, you can auto forward. Mm -hmm. I discovered how much I like helping them and teaching them how to organize their lives. Organize their lives? I like figuring out no, what I really don't have to do anything. <laughs> and when to do them. You're literally dinner, just watching this. those kinds of things. I've actually been taking business learning courses online. I'd like to work at City Hall someday. Okay. Hopefully that's oh, a huge dream. So, Monday, you'll be Mayor Megumi? Oh no. Nothing that prestigious. I just want to have to be a secretary. Care for its people. Is it prestigious to be a mayor? Like, He's no, it's kind of like a big deal, but... To make the entire town happy. You're not, like, if I said, hey, my cousin's the mayor I of this mean, town, you wouldn't be like, whoa. I like people love All right, so. that's cool. What if we you would? spread the happiness that's a, that's even more? That's a pretty big position. If you told me position. your cousin was a mayor, I'd be like, all right, mayor. Anyway, I don't even know what she asked. Just tell her you can believe it if you put your mind to it. There you go. I believe you can do it if you put your mind to it. Teachers have been lying to you kids about your whole lives. Thanks. With a bit of luck, I could probably make it happen. Well, let me know how I can help. I was about to ask for help immediately. Sure. Working together, mm -hmm. I'm sure we will do it. She's just throwing the rope around you. One coil at a time. Well, she isn't lacking in fighting spirit. Oh, I did the auto phone thing. We arrived at the beach party. Oh, beach pretty quickly. Thought it was a beach party. Like five oh hours. my god. <laughs> what do you mean? Stop it. Sap naked. You're the one that I should be covering the eyes on. What is that thing over there? She was like, she's 12. I'm not going to jail over this game. Wait, Megumi, don't just walk off the path. And she's walking into caves. But what beach I do you go to that has a cave? 
Uh-oh. Whoa. Is this a cave She's entrance? She's still doing the same pose. I've never seen it before. She's going to do that when she gets murdered. <laughs> oh. Right in front of us, the ground parts in a, into a sinister-looking entryway. Blends in with the surrounding area. Well, I'm surprised that Megumi couldn't spot it from afar. It looks like it's been here for a long time. Has she lived in this town Is her this whole place life? Off limits are restricted. Well, no, it's I don't creepy. think so. Most people just stay on the beach. We got lost in conversation and walked really far. <laughs> This is interesting. Are you up for a little exploring? Hmm. Maybe, but we don't have a flashlight. She sounds so You know, if you're scared, you can hold my hand. Oh my oh. gosh. Oh. What? Dropping the first hints. Wow, oh, she's so cute when she gets flustered. I, I'm not scared. Let's go in. <laughs> sounds like you. I'm not scared. <laughs> I don't know why my heart is racing so fast, but I'm not going to back down now. It's a freaking cave. Yeah, but the way they led up to this, like, just don't go in the cave. Clearly, nothing good's gonna happen. This place is amazing. It's gonna be YouTube's new meeting spot. As rays of light shine in. From a black hole in the cave ceiling, where I was struck by a wondrous, fantastic sight. Most of the interior is made up of glinting minerals, reflecting the light that slips through the opening in the ceiling. There are no signs of any recent human activity. The last time people were in this cave must have been centuries ago. trickle of water flows through the center, making a light, rippling sound that echoes off the walls. All around the cave, small pillars have formed, both protruding up from the floor and hanging from the ceiling. Megumi starts examining them, dazzled by their beauty. Is this... ice? Oh. I don't think so. Hmm. As I slide my finger across the surface of a pillar for the sake of curiosity, I notice the glossy surface easily gives way. I'm left with small traces on my fingertip. Well, let's leave the mystery for next episode. Mm. Leave them in suspense. We're not going to find out what happens in the cave until no. next time? Next time. All right. We'll have to see you next time. I don't know. It's getting kind of... Uh, I feel like it's... The it's plot is twisting. Up, and then it goes down. Like, yeah. <laughs> Alright guys, I guess we'll see you in the next episode. So pay attention and stay tuned to, to our channel. And uh, we'll be posting Let us know what you think too. about these type of uh, videos versus the normal things we've been doing. Yeah. We wanted to try a few different new games, but this one got recommended to us. And this isn't the normal type of game we play. So we're just yeah. trying something different. Yep. So we'll see you next time. Stay tuned. Hey guys, if you enjoyed the video, please like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you in our next video.